what are the, the newest trends you know Rungo International is offering? Well, I, with, as you know, Rungo is a little different company than most of the other uh, projection television manufacturers out there. It, it, uh, projection television and display devices is our only business. So we're always looking to do the next coolest thing. One of the things that I felt was missing in the 16x9 format was the problem that you had when you watched a cinema type picture, a 235 cinemascope mode. You had bars on the top and the bottom of the, of the picture because the, the uh, format, the aspect ratio was, was not cinema correct. So we set out to, to change that. It happened actually on the first home theater cruise. Uh, a uh, collaboration with uh, Dennis Erskine and Don Stewart. Dennis said that if I built this, he would sell it. And Don Stewart agreed to build a 235 screen to accommodate the cinema type projector. Right now, we have 45 different variations of projectors that do cinema type uh, projection. And in a 235 format, that allows you to scale in, in, in all of the different directions. In other words, you get your 16 by 9 within that format and you can blank it down and still get to watch the movie the way that the director and the producer intended it. It's the, it's the right thing for a true film type aficionado. So that's constant eight, in a way. Every movie from 133 to 178 to 265. Yes, the height, the height remains the same and the only thing that changes is the width. And along with the width, there's uh, uh, curtains or some sort of blanking that, that uh, blacks out the screen. But at, at least that's the way we like to see it done. Uh, and, and Stewart even uh, created a curved screen to give the feeling of a, of a cinema. Uh, and it really, it really does feel good and when you have one of these things in your house. It's, it's really a moving movie experience. Well, Sam, having a lens just in front of a projector that reminds me of what's happening at, with the actual movie, you know, Cinemascope. Well, we're doing exactly the same thing, and the lenses we're using are actual cinema lenses. Uh, so the question always is, am I giving up resolution? That's the number one question. Is it, is it, is it uh, giving me the, the, the full, full picture? And the answer is yes. Uh, when, when films went to widescreen or to cinemascope uh, mode in the... Uh, uh, late 40s, early 50s, they were uh, the the studios were scared of being put out of business by television, because 35 millimeter is actually four by three, same as most televisions, uh, at least the older standard format uh, of television, and the idea was to try to separate it from the television format by putting this anamorphic lens that stretched the picture out, and the whole idea was to uh, when taping to make the people basically tall and skinny and then stretch them out with the anamorphic lens. So the lens we're using are cinema quality lenses, the same that, that, that are being used in the, in the theater that, that you've watched for, for your whole life. These are the exact same uh, type lenses, so the quality is, is, quality is fantastic on these things. Sounds impressive, but since you mentioned the war between television and cinema which took place uh, 50 years ago, what do you think about the actual format war? I mean, you know, uh, there is talk about 3D pictures again, and um, also yourself, you, you propose a product, uh, an a actual 2K projector. That was impressive, you know, what you did uh, during CDA Expo two months ago. So what do you think? Uh, the, battle, the battle between television or theaters will be all over again? Uh, I don't. I don't know. I'm. I'm not. Uh, I have not embraced 3D. Uh, nothing's been been. Nothing's been shown to me to uh, convince me yet that it's more than just a fun thing to do. Uh, in some cases, it's 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 necessary. Hospitals seem to be using it more and more. Uh, but uh, for for the cinema, I'm not. I'm not con convinced of uh, of that yet. As far as the battle between television and the, and the theater. I don't know that there ever was a battle. I think what happened was that the combination of the two, the television, home television, and the movie theaters, at least up until this point in time, they have enhanced each other and sold more televisions and sold more tickets at the theaters because we've all become 
video junkies. Yeah. We have, in the, in the old days, when I was growing up and there was only three stations, three, three major stations, uh, when we saw a movie once, we wouldn't watch it a second time. We'd say, I already saw that movie. Now, in the days of, of, of DVDs and, and videotape before that, uh, there are sometimes I've watched movies five, six, seven, ten times. Sometimes I go and I would go to rent something and not know that I saw it once before. That's how many times I've, I've, I've seen it. So I think that we've become hooked. And we like watching the movies in our home. And we like going out to the theater because there's other people out there to, to uh, see it. If I were to pick uh, a winner, um, it's getting hard to leave my house. Yeah. Because, uh, because the video is consistent, consistently better. The audio is exactly what I want it to be because it's perfect. I'm sitting in the best seat in the, in the house. Uh, and you can't always get that. I can't always get the right seat that I'm looking for in the, in the theater. And, the, you know, film has sparklies and it has lines. And as it gets used, the sprockets uh, tear into it. Uh, digital digital uh, cinema is, is coming a long way. And it's, uh, uh, it's, a, it's an interesting thing. And, and after you see movies, even on DVD, not even HD, but just DVD in your home now, you can convince yourself that you're watching high definition until you see high definition. And that's coming soon, as you know. Yes, in Europe at last, I agree. Yes. So thank you, Sam, for your time. Enjoy the cruise and thank you again for your time. Thanks for having me. Thank you. Goodbye.